it's Thursday again already. I don't know how the weeks go by so fast. But for once, I'm not working today. Yay, 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 So in honor of that, I've been sitting around my house all day wearing pajamas, watching Friends and whatever else is on TV, and drinking strawberry smoothies. Only one strawberry smoothie, actually, but it was delicious. So this week, um, after I finally recovered, see, my face is not, I don't look like a balloon slash chipmunk anymore, um, I had to work, so woo! And then on Sunday I went to see Shrek the Musical with Jared and his family, uh, it was Valley Youth Theater's, like, production of it, and I was, like, actually really impressed, because, I mean, they have had to spend, like, tons of money on it. Um, but it was really good. It was cute. Um, yeah, I liked it. And then on Tuesday, I was, it was like my early birthday dinner night thing. So me and Jared went to Buca de Beppo, which I've never been to before, and it was so good. Like, if you've never gone, we should all go. Oh my god. We should all go, because they have the foods in, like, if you haven't gone, the foods in, like, family-style portions. So, if you order a small of something, it still feeds, like, pretty easily it would feed, like, three of us. Um, so that'd be fun! We should totally do that sometime! When we get back to school. Or, I don't know, is there even a Buca de Beppo in Tucson? I don't really know what it is, but, eh. We also went to see Sister Act, um, and that was a lot of fun. Um, it wasn't like, we were talking about how it wasn't like, as far as... Broadway musicals go. It wasn't like, oh my god, but it was really entertaining, and it was really funny, and I liked it. It's been a while since I've seen, like, like an actual, like, really good production of a musical, so that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Angelique, I kind of have to agree with you about the whole, like, being addicted to vlogging thing. Like, I'm not, obviously I don't feel like I'm addicted to it or anything, but it's fun. Like, it's something that I would like to do more and at least you know put put a little more effort into you know also I can't believe you made a reaction video to my video I think that's hilarious and yeah I feel pretty stupid but hey Anna I want to swim with dolphins too this is kind of a response to Anna and Janice because Janice was saying how she always wanted to be like a trainer or whatever I always wanted to be, like, a performer in one of the shows with the animals, because that's everything that I like to do, all wrapped up in one big awesome job, and I've always wanted to do that, but I would definitely settle for just swimming with dolphins. Like, I've never done that before, and I... Ugh, I want to do it so bad. I'm jealous. Amy, I cannot believe you're moving to Florida. Like, ugh, are you still going to go to U of A? What are you going to do? Ugh. Um, yeah, you'll have to give us more information on that, like, when you know it, like, when is, when does his job start? That's so weird. And what part of Florida? You might have said that, but I don't remember. What part of Florida? And Talia, um, I just watched your video and I still can't remember what you talked about. This is my horrible, I have memory problems. But, when are you done with your, like, school homeworkness? Because that sucks. Okay, and now I'm going to segue into the theme for this week by responding to Janice. She was saying how, like, to her, home is more the people rather than, like, the actual physical place. And I totally agree. That's, like, pretty much exactly what I was going to say. Because um, I've lived the majority of my life uh, in Colorado and Arizona. Um, I moved to Colorado when I was really little, and the whole first half of my childhood was there. And so I've always kind of considered that my home, even when I moved to Arizona. Like, I was so resistant to accept Arizona as, as home for me, just because I came here and I hated it. And I missed my house in Colorado, I missed my town, I missed my school, I missed my friends, you know. Just everything. I Colorado was just... I lived in this, like, small town. It wasn't, like, tiny, but it was smaller. 
You you had kind of like your school friends that you hung out with when you were at school, and then when you came home, you hung out with all the kids in the neighborhood, and everyone knew each other, and our backyards were just like trees for miles, and we'd go walk around and find like old like remnants of people of people no of like tree houses that people had tried to build and just just random stuff like that I mean there was a bear in my neighbor's garage one time <laughs> like that's not funny but it kind of is we had mountain lions in our backyard one time and animal control had to take care of that so <laughs> I'm not making it sound very fun but it was home you know it was it was what I was used to. I was used to the snow and like eating icicles off my roof and getting in trouble for it because that's really gross. Uh, just stuff like that. Little, little things that I can't experience anywhere else or that I can't experience here at least is what made Colorado feel like my home. Um, but as time went on, like recently, I've kind of changed the way that I think because as much as I don't like Arizona, and I say it all the time, and I don't like the heat, and the and I wanted to get out of here, it is my home now, and, you know, it's, it's a place that I, I don't want to stay forever, but I'll always look forward to coming back to visit, because there's so many people here now, and my family's here, and as much as I hate to admit it is my home, um, Colorado will always be a special place to me. But it's the people that really make a house and a town feel like a home. So I think that's all I have to say. This video was a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but I had a lot to cover. So have a great weekend, everybody. Um, I can't wait to see you guys. We're getting closer and closer. And also, uh, Anna, I did my room tour, so I'll put that at the end. Bye! The first thing about my room, I don't know if you guys can tell in this video, is that my walls are pink. Like, they're very light pink, but they are pink, and I hate the color pink. So, I'm not really sure why that is, but they are. Um, okay, this wall, like this whole wall, is like my wall of accomplishments or just, just stuff in general, I guess. Uh, this is my bookshelf. Oh my god, I have Twilight. I don't want to talk about it. Um, this mug I made like freshman year of high school. I took intro to art and I made an elephant mug. It's beautiful. They didn't have gray, so we had to be like this weird black color. Award, so I guess it just means I have a good attitude. I don't know. These stars are, this is like my dance section. These stars are, um... Uh, like, every year when we go to rehearsal and stuff, and for the shows, the hallway backstage, we put up, they put up all these stars that say, like, the theme for the year, and then everyone just kind of picks one out and then steals it at the end of the show. <laughs> um, this is, these are awards that I've won, so a few years ago I won Most Improved, and then I won Dancer of the Year the next year, and then I won Dancer of the Year again last year. And then these are just like Dancer of the Month awards slash like being in performing group awards. This is my mirror. Hey! Look at my super cool Care Bears hat. Oh no! It fell. Care Bears hat. <laughs> okay. And then my poster above my bed. And my bed, which is pretty, I guess. And the only part of my room that's not like trashed. Um, my family's big Kansas City Royals fans because they're all from Kansas City, but I don't really care that much about sports. This my brother got me in Hawaii, and then this is a thing that my friend painted for me one Christmas because we're evil and we like Slytherin. <laughs> um, flowers, yay. Picture from my brother's wedding. And, yeah, I think that's everything. I've got... Just like random pictures everywhere, a little dance statue my mom gave me. That was my nephew like a long time ago. He's almost three now. And yay! There's my room. Oh, and two guitars that I 
don't really play, but one's my brother, my brother's, and then the other one I've had since I was really little, but yay!